Hello everyone, welcome back to the Case of the Golden Idol. <clears throat> Last episode we wrapped up Chapter 2, The Cursed Inheritance, and we're moving on to... Chapter 3, The Ascent. My goodness, look at these spook lords. What the hell? These are like reanimated corpses, right? Edmund's uh, anti-aging cream worked really well. He's got a bunch of zombies working for him. Whew. The strange practices of a secretive society... Okay, what rooms do I have to work with? There's a road in the forest to a little hobbit's den, which is actually a castle. And then in here, that's the scene we saw at the intro. You know, these these might be masks actually, right? So there's that there's this brotherhood of masks, right? These might not actually be zombies. Okay. But also they might be zombies. And then there's like a tomb here of some sort. Maybe. Okay, well, let's start from the outside, I guess. Why is this one rustling? Is there someone in there? Yes. Oh, that's the same as this, okay. Hmm, hmm. The tattoo depicts a hand and an eye on his back. He has a hat with a flower on it. A lot of stuff in his bag. To David Gorin. David, the gathering will be on March 14th. Follow our plan. We should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume. Grab rope and weapons. From WK? That's like William Keane or something, right? The guy who led the robbery with targeting David Gorin last time? So maybe David Gorin was actually working with him. Somehow. To David Gorin for reliable service from EC. Edmund uh, Cloudsley, presumably. I mean, these these all look like things that, that David Gorin really did have in the past. But I can't really tell if this is him, or if somehow it's like someone else who's been tied up and had a bunch of David Gorin stuff left with them. It seems most likely this is David Gorin, but we don't have a proof yet. A loaded pistol, a picture of all the hats, again. A sword and a clean new coat. So there's like, there's two bags here of stuff. This is David Gorin's bag. And this is like WK's bag, right? Because he had the picture, the fashion magazine or whatever this is before. And the sword and the pistol. And it would make sense for him to have a clean new coat as well. So we can't actually say necessarily who this is. It could be either of them, right? What did um what did the two of them look like? We can see them both here. Well, I mean the problem is they've both been shaved bald, but or whoever whoever we're looking for has been shaved bald, but this hair not this hair. This face looks closer to the color, I think. We could go back and look at David Gorin here, the other place we've seen him. I don't know, I mean, he's kind of dark-faced as well. Huh. Those eyes tell me anything? I don't know. I mean, I'm inclined to think it's David. Because why would the gentleman robber be tied up here?
And also, like, he seems like he would be a membership, a member of this hand-eye cult, maybe. Whereas the gentleman robber, WK, doesn't really. Hmm. Okay, well, more to puzzle over there later, I guess. Two sets of footsteps. I can't quite tell which way they're going. In this picture, they're going southish, but here, am I meant to determine what they're going southish or northish here? I'm not sure. This is so weird. Look. Like, two people came in here, and then two people left via different routes. They came in together, maybe, with a cart between them? And they left separately, but the cart isn't here. Huh. Okay. Dark hands. Okay, we know about them, sort of. Brothers wear masks appropriate to their house. Proud Beasts and Water Snakes. So we knew about the Proud Beasts as well, right? That was, um... Like, Willard Wright was was part of... Or he had a letter from a Proud Beast, at least. I don't remember if he was one, but I think he was. If we look here... Yeah, he, Dear Proud Beast Master, Proud Beast Initiate. So he was, like, probably a Proud Beast Initiate. Yes, that's correct. So we've heard of them, whereas I think the water snakes are new to us. Brothers wear robes appropriate to their rank. Ah, master, steward, initiates. So the number of eyes they have on their robe tells us their position in society. In this brotherhood cult society. Oh no, is this three separate letters? It is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting back to this shit later. <laughs> Let's look at this shorter one. Illuminated Masters. I, I object to the admittance of the individual Lazarus Hurst to our brethren. I submit that our Dark Hand brother, Walter Keane. Oh, Walter Keane is a Dark Hand. The Gentleman Robber. Who vouches for him cannot be trusted because he is a liar and a thief. I am certain that on dispatching our enemy, he kept the golden fire-breathing relic for himself. Nothing will move me on this. He must produce the relic, apologize personally to me, and afterwards be expelled from our brotherhood. Sir Geoffrey Sinclair. Doesn't seem like there's much in it for him, is there? If he has to give you his stuff, apologize, and then get kicked out anyway? Alright, maybe I will read this long one. By the way, January 5th, 19... 1789-1790, a year later. And this is in the middle, okay. Oh, this is a from Walter Keane. Did I not get that name when I read this? I must have just not clicked there properly. Okay. I ventured on the Order's mission... This is a message from Walter Keane. To obtain our fire-breathing relic, and with great resolve, punish the despicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout in a remote hunting cabin. But the devil had prepared a treacherous trap, and an explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived the blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior David Gorin, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. After an hour of fight, I received numerous deadly wounds, in spite of which I prevailed and defeated my assailants with my martial training. I discovered the enemy's dead body, slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of the relic. I am forced to go into hiding, because the government's watchmen are tracking me. Once I have recovered from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchmen, I will send you the next report. May the griffin awaken. Okay, so the enemy is clearly Edmund Cloudsley. Okay. Here's another one from Walter Key. Masters, I much apologize a thousand times for my absence. This is like, by the way, almost a year later. 
But my road's recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. The government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly, and I was forced to seek refuge in Aquitania? I don't know where that is. To recover from my still dire wounds. There I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst, a young, resourceful gentleman whom I met in a remote manner one dead winter's night. I have those dreams. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the villains, but he turned out to be well-versed in the arcane arts. Of course, not yet close to your skills. I have finally recovered and plan to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus would be a fine addition to the order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. May the griffin awake. And then this guy's mad about it. So... I guess... These are three different orders, and not, like, specialties within an order. Maybe? Well, I don't know. Hmm. Because we know that Willard Wright was a proud beast. And... I'm not sure. Okay, let's let's leave this idea for now and go look here. Someone is carrying a house on their back. Someone is eating, I don't know, caviar, gruel. There's a fish in a house. And note these are numbered, right? This is number one, two, three. This is number four. Someone is happy to have clothes on when it's hot, but also happy to be naked when it's cold. Just a very happy guy. Maybe he's not happy. Maybe this isn't a smile. Maybe that's his, like, facial hair and the straight line is just he's neutral about it. Prepare to receive what you have earned. Oh, boy. Screwdrivers. Oh, no. Brands. I see. Oh, maybe this isn't ominous. He's giving the guy the tattoo of becoming a proud beast. I... I this sounds like you're about to torture somebody, but okay. This will be torture that he was looking forward to, because he gets a tattoo out of the, the deal. Not a tattoo, a brand, right? February 10th, 1790. A member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brother. Brotherhood's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we have decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer receives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering on March 14th and fulfill your role in the rites of the Brotherhood Council of Masters. Yeah, I see what those are clearly shaped like. I have signaled to Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. I don't... I mean, I'm pretty sure this is not David Gorin. And I somewhat doubt, but I guess I'm not sure whether this is um, the gentleman thief, William Keene, or whatever his name was, something Keene. Walter Keene. But I don't know, I mean, look, those forehead wrinkles, does that tell you anything? Is that just part of his expression or part of his face? This guy doesn't really have him. He looks younger, right? Of course, everybody looks old when they're being blown up, I guess. But this is... I mean... You wouldn't be putting Proud Beast on... Walter Keen because he's already a Dark Hand. Right? Oh, and this mask, by the way. This is the mask of a... A robe? I assume this is a Proud Beast outfit, right? Looks more like a lion than a hand or a snake. It's got the kind of mane, I guess? I don't know. Okay, what's going on up here? Oh, no. 
Ah, I see. You must endure these tests. Administered. Huh. Well... The last trial is about heat. What, what is... what are these? What is this star? Slow, fire, water, tree, time. What are these? Someone's carrying... Well, this, I guess, is kind of a snail look, right? Carry, a... Carry your house on your back? Probably one of these two. And the third one apparently is meant to be water in both of these. So that's, yeah, a fish in a house. Okay, water. So is the last one a star or a tree? And is the second one a fire or time? I mean, it doesn't look like fire to me. It's sort of... I mean, it doesn't really look like time either, but... Maybe being patient about how long you have to wait for dinner? And then this one... Nature? Being naked out in nature? Oh, well, we can tell... Okay. It's administered by a proud beast. I guess. But this could be administered by anyone anyway. We, we know also, yeah, these, these both look wrong because this person, I believe, is a proud beast. So that's another, more evidence that this is wrong. It should start with snail. But I don't understand the second and fourth tests. So I can't quite tell whether this person is being incepted or admitted. But even if he were, I still wouldn't know. Those both just sound like, yeah, you're starting. So I don't think they would tell me whether he's like, which of those people he is. So let's go look upstairs. And I, maybe, yeah. None of these masks really look that much like a lion or a snake or dark hand. So up here, I'll probably learn what the different kinds of masks indicate. There's a key hanging from a chandelier. Death in a stained glass window. Let's start up here. Done when an accuser has challenged a defender. Both drinkers must be barefoot. Very important, I guess. The substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Add substance to one cup while they're not looking. Defender chooses first. Accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in wine cups. So people are certainly accusing Walter Keane of being a bad dude. So this could happen. Ritual of Squabble. Only initiates can be defender and accuser. The sword must be borne by any dark hand. God, okay. Required decorations of the hall. The Grim Reaper. That's here. The never tiring teacher. The feeder of mouths. I don't think I've seen those. Ritual of conflict. The accuser must deeply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by any initiate. Required decorations of the hall. The never tiring teacher, the keeper of treasures, the mirror of the soul. And last two. The ritual of dispute. Only stewards or higher can be defender and accuser. The scepter must be borne by water snake master. Quiet decorations of the hall, the keeper of treasures, the never tiring teacher, the grim reaper. 
Ritual of Discord. The houses of the accuser and defender stand behind their brothers. The scepter must be worn by a dark hand master. Required decoration is the Speaker of the Blind, the Grim Reaper, and the Keeper of Treasures. So is this the hall, or is the whole place the hall? Nothing under the rug. Are these decorations? Like, this looks kind of like a hall. But this is clearly the Grim Reaper. And I don't really see any other decorations anywhere. Hmm, okay. The Griffin has spoken. A tray with a small vial of unknown substance. And a ruby ring. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> Let's also... What do we know about their robes? Like, are these kind of diamonds on them indicative of the number of eyes they have? And like, we're meant to assume we can see all of them? Like, if you have just one... Well, he's got these little smaller diamonds here. Like, this one's filled in, but he hasn't gotten his steward's patch yet. Maybe. I don't see any masters anywhere. Griffin has spoken. Griffin has spoken. Two cups contain some wine, but are almost empty. So this guy lost the rap battle. He also has a ruby ring. He's not breathing. The griffin has spoken. There's some red wine in the tanker. Let us await the results from the chamber below. A ceremonial sword and a ring. The griffin has spoken. This guy has the scepter. So he's he's holding the scepter. But also someone's holding a sword. <sighs> okay. Drinkers are barefoot. Yes, these two are barefoot. I agree. This guy has won the duel. <sighs> Substance is added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. So... That suggests they only use deadly poison for the most severe accusations. And these are clearly ascending order of severity, right? So it can't be the ritual of squabble. You don't you don't kill somebody in a squabble. It can't be the ritual of conflict, I think, because we see the Grim Reaper. Now, it could be that the Grim Reaper is there just by chance, and the other three things associated with the Ritual of Conflict are also around, but I don't think that's likely. Still something to keep in mind. Like, the never-tiring teacher, the Keeper of Treasures, the Mirror of the Soul? What is this shit? I don't see it anywhere. So, it's possible that this is the most serious accusation, and that's the only one they use deadly poison for. In which case it would be this. 
we would need to find the speaker to the blind and the keeper of treasures around somewhere. Actually, in either of these cases, we would have the Grim Reaper and the keeper of treasures. The question would be, can we find the never tiring teacher or the speaker to the blind? that button do? I don't know. Oh, 31 out of 31, I found all the words? Maybe. So, Never Tiring Teacher or Speaker to the Blind. Those are the things we think are interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't see any of that shit. This doesn't look like any of those things, really. This doesn't really look like any of them. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the member. So I think this robe with the one patch here is the robe of an initiate? That doesn't seem right. Because all of these are administered by someone at least of steward rank. Right? And this guy is clearly administering the test. So I guess that tells us this guy is at least a steward, right? Because he seems to be wearing the same outfit as his chap B downstairs. Different mask, same coat. And here's an interesting thing. Look, this guy's got the same color coat. And this guy has a patch on his right shoulder. This guy has a patch on his left shoulder. So, if we think those patches are symbols for the eye brand that they must have for their rank, then these two are both stewards. Or possibly higher, but I don't see any evidence of a third patch on this kind of code. Problem is, I can't really tell which of these guys has a code that would be distinguishing them as master or what. Well, so it can't be squabble because we don't think they're initiates, maybe. We don't think it's this because we see the Grim Reaper somewhere. Only stewards of hire, okay, yeah, so that sounds plausible. Ah, in both of these cases, the object must be held by someone of rank master. And since both objects are being held by people with this coat, we can tell that this white coat is the coat of a master. And I believe this is the coat, therefore, of a steward. Maybe an initiate, but I don't think so. Yeah. So if this is the code of a master and this is the code of a steward, this must be the code of an initiate. Which, you know, fine, whatever. But now we can go downstairs and see, look, this guy also has the code of a steward. And this says... this. These are the two tests we couldn't figure out. 
And this one can only be administered by masters, but this guy's a steward, not a master. So, this must be an inception ritual. Administered by a proud beast steward. So now my guess that this hat was proud beast, well, I mean, is even more confirmed, right? Because he's putting a dang old proud beast on this guy. But, I mean, I don't know. People get incepted all the time. They all get incepted by proud beasts, but maybe they get different stamps on them. Like, he was, this guy was trying out for Team Proud Beast. If he'd been trying out for Team Dark Hand, it'd still be a Proud Beast steward in, incepting him, but he'd have a different brand, I guess. Okay. So we know this is a Proud Beast hat now. And if we go back here... These last two rituals that we were looking at, the scepter has to be carried by someone, and in neither case is it a proud beast. So the object that's relevant here is not the one here held by the proud beast, but this one held by whoever this wacko is holding the scepter. The scepter is the important object. So this is a water snake master and a ritual of dispute. Okay. I haven't even looked at this yet. Okay, great. So, now I can fill all this stuff in that I've been figuring out. A to Z, please. Ritual of dispute, right? Not discord? Yes. Discord is the worst one. Oh, and I just have to label these guys. Great. I, I know everything about them now. Um, you are a water snake. Master. You're also a master of li Proud Beast. You then must be a. What's the last one? Dark Hand? A Dark Hand initiate. Guy on the ground is a Water Snake Steward. Guy over here is a dark hand steward. And this is a water snake initiate. Two or fewer slots are correct, are incorrect. So you can actually get yellow lights as well as green and red, huh? Interesting. Okay, well, let's fill this in, actually. I should have done that first, maybe. So this is clearly Proud Beast. This, I said, is Water Snake, right? Yeah. This is Dark Hand. Now, I think I'm going to have something wrong here. Because this is wrong, and I'm using the same information for both of them. That's a steward, but this this maybe maybe I just entered something wrong here, right? The steward is a master. This okay, so this is all correct. Okay, so I just made some error in putting this, or for some reason it's not a ritual of dispute, but I'm pretty sure it is. So this water snake is everyone with this kind of mask. Yep, that looks right. Proud beast is this, and it's just this one guy, right? Dark Hand is this goofy scarecrow mask. Yeah, those are all right. This is a steward. Yeah, you're a steward. So are you. This is Initiate. Uh, okay, that doesn't seem right. What's wrong here? I think it is a ritual of dispute, isn't it? Stewards. The scepter's held by a water snake master, right? Yeah? The ritual of discord, I mean... 
The scepter isn't being held by a Dark Hand Master. So it can't be that. It would have to be the Ritual of Conflict then, maybe? But... Oh, is... Maybe... I didn't quite work out the... Well, no, the sword is clearly not borne by an initiate. I haven't quite worked out the decorations, but... Huh. What do I have wrong here? I don't know. The sword is not borne by a dark hand. It's not borne by an initiate either. The scepter is borne by the water snake master. Yes. The scepter is borne by a dark hand master. No. Right? This is so weird. This this is correct. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Huh. Okay, leave it for now, I guess. So this is clearly a steward of the Proud Beast Brotherhood. This ritual, I think we figured out what it was, right? It was the ritual of Inception? Yeah, because there's a Proud Beast steward here. And this guy, I mean, we're still not 100%. on which of the two, like, normies he is. Is he Walter Keane or David Gorin? I mean, I think he should be David, he should be Walter Keane, right? Let's go read the letters again. Walter Keane is saying, blah, 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 blah. Yep, I found David Gorin. Yep. Great. Here, Walter Keane is saying, oh, right, I forgot La Lazarus Hurst. Yes. He's a young new guy. So, I think that must be Lazarus Hurst downstairs. They object to adding him. Walter Keane... is the one being challenged as a liar and a thief by Jeffrey Sinclair. So this this is Lazarus Hurst. I just forgot you existed. Sorry, dude. Yes. And you, we also know a little bit more. Da, 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 da. This guy, Walter Keane, is a member of like this brotherhood. And they hate David Gorin. There's no way he would just be, like, upstairs part of the ritual, right? Well, wait a minute. Maybe David Gorin snuck in. Right? That's why there's two bags here. This... The person who's actually an initiate of Dark Hand, um, Walter Keane. Do we know here that he's an initiate, by the way? A Dark Hand brother, Walter Keane, okay. Is tied up outside. And David Gorin must have snuck in disguised as him, basically, right? Ah, so I labeled one of these as, like, just some unknown steward or whatever. But I need to label one of them as David Gorin. I haven't read this at all, by the way. I, I want to figure out what's happening before I, like, get some words given to me here. This is... Okay, sort, get rid of those gaps... This is Walter. 
Do I not have the word keen? There it is. Two or fewer slots are wrong. Well, I mean, that means all of them. Surely it's not David Gorin. Or do you just want me to say that this is some... Oh, right, they haven't been able to find Walter Keen, I think. This is some Dark Hand Initiate, who we don't know about, I guess is the point. Yes, okay. I thought he had tied up specifically Walter Keen, but all I can tell from the tattoo is that it's a, a Dark Hand Initiate. Okay. So the person in this room dressed as a Dark Hand Initiate is actually, I suspect, David Gorin. This guy. That's why it didn't tell me this is correct. David Gorin. Yes. Okay. Now, let's look over here and fill out the story of this, this scenario. Someone was challenged to a dispute ritual, I guess? Where's dispute? What? Sword again? Hello? I have squab. Did I not pick up the word dispute? Is that what's happening? But I did, because. Oh, I see. Once I got it here, this this is filled in, and so now, rather than having a big pile of unsorted words, I have this word here I'm supposed to use. A dispute ritual. Okay. So the person who was challenged to a dispute ritual is clearly... Walter Keen? Right? It has to be. Okay, well, the person downstairs, we can do this. Lazarus Hurst passed the Inception ritual to become a initiate of Proud Beast. Walter Keen, along with somebody, ambushed Well, I guess It has to be David Gorin, right? That's the only person I really have so I guess Walter Keen, they were right. Walter Keen is a bad guy. He's not to be trusted. I think. Or anyway, not by members of this cult. Because there's, there's not really... Oh, what do I have Sinclair for? Oh, Jeffrey Sinclair. What do I know about Jeffrey Sinclair? I mean, he's the challenger, obviously. And he must be one of these two. doesn't add up. Who, who are the two people participating in the ritual? Because this says... Sir Jeffrey Sinclair 
is calling Walter Keene a liar and a thief. So Walter Keene should be one of these two people, and the other should be Jeffrey Sinclair. And, okay, fine, David Gorin can sneak in because he's, like, wearing this guy's robe and pretending to be this guy. If one of these people were not Jeffrey Sinclair but were some other rando, they'd be like, hang on, I'm not Jeffrey Sinclair, I don't want to be part of this ritual. And if the two people who ambushed somebody outside were David Gorin and Walter Keene, I mean, the only one ambushed is this guy, and David Gorin took his clothes. Walter Keene should be in his own clothes. He's a... He's a dark something, isn't he? Maybe not. Yeah, and he's claiming he found the enemy's dead body slain by a trap of his own making. But we saw in the last scenario that the enemy wasn't dead. He was just chilling out in a, in a case. So, Walter Keen either is working with Edmund and, like, pretending to go kill him. I doubt that. I don't know. Or he, like, okay, the bomb went off. He went in and killed Edmund, took the relic, and ran. And meanwhile, he arranged that Hardy Abe should only give David Gorin, his good friend, a bop on the head and not kill him. It sort of makes sense. I, mean, I think we say they just ambushed Dark Hand Initiate, some guy. That's a name. And these are these are red or gray, right? So once the scroll gets filled in, they'll put in the necessary articles. Ambushed a Dark Hand Initiate or something. So I guess he, along with David Gorin. David Gorin posing as a dark hand initiate challenge drank no signaled I see so this dark hand steward is actually Walter Keene. Would it let me overwrite this? No. Well, I guess the point is Walter Keene actually is a Dark Hand steward. He's in the Brotherhood. David Gorin isn't any of these things, so the only accurate way to label him is David Gorin, whereas this is an accurate way to label Walter Keene. He signaled to, I guess, I mean, a Dark Hand steward, but also to Walter Keene. With a... How is he signaling? Which cup had no poison? That's fine. Ah, he's holding a tankard, signaling somehow. He's holding it in his right hand instead of his left, or, or something like that. Walter... No. The other person, Water Snake Steward, 
drank? Do they have a word drank? Yes, drank the other cup. I guess, yeah. They're, they're calling these cups, right? Two cups, yeah. Yes, this is correct. After being challenged to a ritual with potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. They captured a Brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that during the ritual of dispute, he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose the safe cup, and his opponent drank the poison and died. So having read this earlier in the explorations might have helped. You know, might have helped me to go faster to see what kind of story I'm trying to put together. But I don't know, I kind of thought it was cool just trying to walk around and see what everything means without having to scroll as a scaffolding to put stuff into. I think I got pretty far with it, honestly. I'm pretty happy with myself. I got all this stuff without looking at any of that. Okay. Well, out we go. And I guess tomorrow we have to look forward to the crowning celebration by the lighthouse. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.